नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स सिक्स सिग्मा इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मैथमेटिकल फार्मूलाज एंड मेथड्स टू रिमोट डिफेक्ट्स एंड प्रोडक्ट वेरिएशन सिक्स सिग्मा एम इज टू इनहेंस एंड इंक्रीज प्रोडक्टिविटी इन द प्रोसेस एंड प्रोडक्ट देर आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड टास्क फॉर एनी कंपनी सच अ मिनिमाइजिंग एक्सपेंसिस मीटिंग डेडलाइंस इम्प्लोइंग कनेक्टिविटी स्ट्रीमलाइनिंग प्रोसेस एंड कटिंग वेस्ट If you are a owner of any process or you of owner of any organizations you have to minimize the expenses you have to meeting deadlines employing connectivity what is what is the meaning of employing connectivity you have to uh, use some tools some technology to improve the connectivities of various process various service to deliver the service to the customer within stipulated time period to enhance your uh, process productivity streamlining process streamlining process means an organization is sum up many process let's consider an example of a manufacturing unit a manufacturing unit having many departments that department having own process like production to product uh, to pro uh, pro uh, produce the product quality control quality assurance dispatch stores commercial and uh, many other department like maintenance they have their own activity to so streamlining the Uh, there other uh, many activities is a best way to optimize the to enhance the productivity cutting waste most importantly there if you have a process is your process is well uh, effective controlled even there are opportunity to cutting the waste you have to implement the process audit and you will find out there are many waste activities which are uh, which are the part of the process you have to continue audit it and and minimize it In previous video, we have studied about some key terminology as a defect and defective. The link is given in descriptions. You can click on the link and uh, you can watch the video. Let's discuss about DPU. DPU means defect per unit. DPU measure the average number of defect per unit. It is found by dividing the total number of defect found in the number of unit. So the formula is. dpu means defect divided by total number of units suppose there are 15 defects in 500 units so we can uh, we can uh, uh, divide the 15 divided by 500 is equal to 0.03 so the 0.03 is a dpu let's discuss about dpo dpo is a defect per opportunity it is a metric indicating the number of defects per opportunity in the process opportunity for the defect refer to total number of chances for a defect to occur within the process suppose uh, there are uh, 50 samples 50 populations and you drawn uh, 10 samples from that 50 populations and out of 10 samples you get five defects so what are the opportunity to get a defects so you withdraw 5 uh, 10 samples uh, from the population of 50 so 10 samples into 50 is equal to 5 there are opportunity to get defect is 500 so let's uh, let's uh, uh, the formula is dpo is total number of defect found in a sample divided by sample size and number of defect opportunity per unit samples suppose there are 15 defects opportunity per unit is 5 and number of unit is 500 so total opportunity 500 into 5 is equal to 2500 the dpu is defect 15 and total opportunity is 2500 is equal to 0.006 now let's discuss about dpmo dpmo in six sigma stands for defect per million opportunity it is a measures how efficient and effective a process and product is suppose you are a process owner so you can define your process efficiency or effective with help of dpmo if dpmo is very low it means your product, uh, your process is well controlled you can uh, define the formula of dpmo 
DPMO, the formula of DPMO is total number of defect found in a sample divided by sample size into number of defect opportunity per unit in the sample into 10 to power 6. Let's solve uh, some numerical question about DPMO. A form contains 20 fields of information and only 10 forms are checked and sampled and 26 found in the sample. Calculate DPMO. Here is uh, 20 field of information. We have drawn 10 samples to check and found 26 defects. So let's uh, calculate the DPMO. DPMO formula is total number of defect found in the sample divided by sample size and number of defect opportunity per unit in the sample into 10 to power 6. So let's draw uh, the data from the example. Total number of defect in given in the example that 26. Sample size is 20 and number of defect opportunity per unit in the samples. We drawn 10 sample, so 10 and total sample size is 20, 10 into 20 means 200. So let's uh, put the value in the formula. DPMO, number of defect 26, number of defect opportunity in the uh, per unit in the sample is 10 into 20, in, it means 200 into 10 to power 6. The, uh, the value is 1,30,000. Let's discuss in one one example. Doltas company is a business of air conditioner. So every month they manufactured air conditioner as per demand of the market. You know well known that Doltas company. So they manufactured 50 air conditioners. So 50 is the total number of air conditioners, yeah, total number of populations. But they only take 40 air conditioners for evolution and they found there are some defect in their air conditions when they pass the air condition to the research and development department should out of 50 they take only 40 samples in the evolution they found there are 70 uh, defects so number of defects is also given you can easily calculate the dpmo with the formula of total number of defect found in the sample divided by sample size into number of defect opportunity per unit in the sample into 10 to power 6 so total number of defect found in the sample is 70. They got 70 defects and sample size. They drawn 40 samples out of 50 and uh, number of defect opportunity per unit of sample is 50. The total population is 50. So DPMO divided by divide, DPMO is equal to 70 divided by 40 into 50 into 10 to power 6. The answer is 35,000. So it is very easy to calculate DPMO. I hope you understand. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.